my little dumpster fire babies. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope it's today's off to a wonderful, fantastic star. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Carrington. Even if it's not your first time here and you have been here a couple of times, I invite you to definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell so you can join this dumpster fire family. If you enjoyed this video, this type of content, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and let's dive on into testing out some new makeup. I have a lot that we are needing to try. So let's go ahead and let's dive on into what those are. So first things first, um, in terms of like the lip category, um, Juvia's Place has some new like lip liner colors. I have the originals that they came out with when they reached, when they released the coffee shop collection, they came out with some more. So I'm going to test those. Um, I do have a Juvia's Place gloss that came out with that as well, the coffee shop collection. So we're going to try that. Um, and then from Clarity Cosmetics is we have this brownie liquid lipstick. So this is like a darker type of brown. So I feel like we could really like pair these together, come up with like a really cute lip look, hopefully. Uh, next up to test out is I have this from Too Faced. This is the Makeup Insurance 18 Wear Long Wear Setting Spray plus Blue Light Defense. I don't know if I've ever actually had a setting spray from Too Faced. I don't really purchase a lot from Too Faced, but they came out with some new products. So I bought them. Some is still on its way to me. So that those will be coming in some videos. Um, I also have this from Winky Lux. This is the White Tea Tinted Moisturizer with Bod Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. I have mine in the shade Fair. There weren't a ton of options to choose from, truthfully. Um, so I hope that if this provides any coverage that they'll come out with more shades. But since they really didn't have a lot, I'm wondering if they're like shades, like, like if it just, just doesn't provide like a lot of coverage. I don't, I don't know. For highlighter, we have this from She Glam. This was part of the Chroma Zone collection. I bought the whole um, collection like when I did bought like the Willy Wonka stuff. Um, and so it's just kind of like this really cute multi-chrome type highlighter. Um, then from Refi, we have a cream blush. We had tried out another one in the shade Rose. This is in the shade Peach. Then from Rare Beauty, we have the Positive Light uh, Concealer, Under Eye Brightener Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light. Again, that is the lightest that they had. I don't know how well it's going to work for my under eyes in terms of brightening. I have this brow pencil. This is from JCat Beauty. This is the perfect brow duo. It has a crown. Um, on one end and it has like a spoolie on the other. This is in the shade, wait a minute, I bought this for a very specific reason, uh, Jet Black. So I'm just like, maybe, maybe this will be the pencil that I need for my hair. Never know. We also have some lashes to try. This is from House of Lashes. These are the, in the light collection, does it say Iconic Light? Yes iconic light um then from kaleidos they have some of like these um multi chrome duo chrome liners um i will say i was just like swatching them let me tell you i have been trying to get these off with makeup remover with water with like scrubbing out them they are not going anywhere so i have a feeling these are going to be pretty good and then i bought some singles from Clarity Cosmetics um, over the Black Friday haul. But if you guys are excited to see what look I create, what I think of these products in a ranking style at the end, then definitely keep on watching. I personally like to start off with my eyes just so that way if there's any fallout or anything like that, I don't really have a lot to worry about. So I did place some singles. I have them separated from mattes. Um, versus shimmers. So the first palette we have right here are going to be all of our mattes. I've got a little bit of like some neutrals and some like pinky purple and some greens. Um, and then for shimmers, I got a couple, I, I, I did get like a lot of like multi-chromes, duo-chromes um, in here and then just kind of some basic shades. But for the most part, I'm sure as you can tell, I definitely went a little bit multi-duo-chrome kind of heavy. So 
I think I want to go um, actually for like a like green type of look. I know it's like, but you're wearing red, but like I really want to go in with the green. I think that could be so pretty. So I think that's what I'm going to start off with. Clarity Cosmetics has tons and tons and tons of matte, shimmer, duochrome, metallic type options for you to choose from. I mean, there's tons of singles, so you can create anything you've ever wanted. So if you ever are like, hey, they haven't really made a palette that really like speaks to me or has the colors that I want, you can create your own because again, they have so many. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. This is the shade Olive. Uh, I will say on camera... It looks a little bit more yellow um, than it does. Like in in person, this is a very much like a olive. All right, so we're just gonna take that on a fluffy brush. These brushes I I got from Cosmic Brushes um, when I got their Simply Posh palette. Which, by the way, that palette fantastic. So right off the bat, it is very, very pigmented. Um, this is true for all of Clarity Cosmetics. You will have some kick up in the pan um, with their matte formula. But again, this is two dunks and the pigmentation is just there. Like, I don't know what else there is to tell you besides the pigmentation. It's just there, darling. I don't know. Okay, I don't make the rules. But as you can tell, I mean, it's just so nice, so pigmented easy to blend, effortless. The next shade I'm gonna move on into is going to be this one right here. This is called Armadillo. I kind of find it odd that a, a, a grungy green is considered Armadillo. Um, this shade had a lot more kick up than the uh, previous shade that we went in with, which was Olive. But I'm just gonna focus that in like the outer corner and like lower crease area. I'm uh, just kind of blend that out for the outer corner portion of my eye I'm going to go into this shade right here called Hunter we'll see how this looks I might add I have a little bit of like a gray shade I might add that just to add a little bit more grunginess to it. But we'll see. We, also, we shall see. I don't think this is looking bad. Let me see what happens if I do add like just like a little snickle smell of gray. No, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. The gray has quite a bit of kick, kick up, fallout, and it does even on the face as well. So I'm just going to start just kind of lightly bring it over so now we're going to move on into the lid shades so i have already glitter primed my eyelids i love to glitter prime my eyelids i think i'm going to start off with let me let's take this shade right here this is called pickle i'm going to start with that i want this all over my lid just to start off with i'm just gonna take it I'd like to take a little bit at a time just because sometimes their shades can get kind of crumbly, um, especially if you press too hard, pick too much up at one time. So I like to just start slowly. So we got pickle going. Then I want to take this next shade. This is called Apple Limeade. It's a little bit lighter, um, but definitely like a different color and just kind of focus that towards like the inner portion. Wait a minute. Um, okay, but one thing I do want to do or try um, is I'm going to take this Kaleidos um, liner. This is in the shade Limelight. So usually with like my inner corner shades, I'll do like a, a little swoop. But I want to try the swoop with just, just this liner. So let's see. Need my mirror so I can be precise. Oh. Okay. Now that's really pretty. And then just kind of hug it around my eye. Ooh. 
So what I'm, I'm now going to do is I'm going to go do like liner, mascara, lashes. Um, I will say I know I do have these whoop, 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 House of Lashes lashes to try. I'm going to go off camera, um, you know, because I have to like cut glue, put on all of that. All right, so I am back and I have put the lashes on. These are very, very just like long, very wispy. I will say they aren't like super voluminous. Like they are very, like as you can tell, very separated. Um, so if that's a look that you like, I think you'll like these. The band is very, very thin. Um, and sometimes with thin bands, it feels like it's a lot of work trying to put them on. I really didn't experience that with these lashes they were very ease of use um, i was able to easily put my glue on and easily just attach them to my lash line with literally like no issues at all i did now we're going to move on into this from winky lux this is the white tea tinted moisturizer um and so this is um protect and perfect with this lightweight tinted moisturizer infused with antioxidants that will give you something to glow about so right off the bat sounds like this is going to be glowy um this can help prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sunscreen measures um decreases the risk of skin cancer and early aging caused by the sun so this is kind of what the um, packaging looks like. It's kind of like a sleek matte type of packaging. Um, like even you could tell, like even like the label seems very matte. So it kind of feels very luxe, like as is. It comes with like a really nice pump. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is about one pump, the first initial pump. I personally like to, um, when I, I, I'm not a huge, like, um, a huge brush person for applying, like, foundations and stuff. So I personally like to take a pump on the back of my hand, or you could even take it on a, um, you know, palette if you wanted to, like, or a mirror, whatever it is. And I like to just stipple it in to the area, into the sponge. Um, and then go in. So I will say right off the bat, we did get, you know, a good amount of coverage. Um, this is very, very heavily scented. Like this, this smells very, very much, very florally. And when I say it is heavily scented, it's almost like it is perfume so although this is heavily scented it does provide a good i would say good medium coverage you could still see a little bit of my redness but it's not a ton um it's not really sinking into my lines or anything this had stated it had a glow i don't find it has like that glow that it's talking about i feel like my glow is mostly left over from like my skincare and i use this from natasha denona the hygiene skin glass but in terms of like if i went in with something matte i feel like this would be matte too i feel like it's just like very just like skin like like your skin but better uh but again this fragrance is a lot like you can smell this fragrance um it's it's still a lot so if you are very like sensitive to scents you won't like this like these flowers that are on here I, i'm pretty sure they put every last one of these flowers in this and it smells like perfume so uh just 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 something to be mindful of so the next thing that we're going to go into is going to be this from rare beauty this is the positive light under eye brightener this is in the shade light again there wasn't anything lighter than this so it makes me a little bit nervous as to how light this is going to be this this might be a good option let me see it talks about the ingredients um, it says it's a weightless brightening liquid formula that illuminates and refreshes the under eye with a natural luminous finish. So, um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like used in place of like, um, concealer. Interesting. So it's like a metal applicator, which I feel like, you know, we saw that with the Kristen Dominique. I don't have that. I've just seen it online. So let's, um, let's see a little bit comes off on this little thing okay so it's cooling so the little the metal part gives you like a cooling effect to it and it only just gets like this one like little dot off wait a minute does this does this have a scent too hold on 
it has a little bit of a scent. I don't want to say it's, it's not as strong as like the other one. Like I'm still smelling this. This is kind of, it kind of has like a fresh scent to it. Um, truthfully. So I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm just going to start stippling this out. Okay. I don't know that it necessarily covers uh, super well. And then my under eyes, I just feel just because like I am as fair as I am, like literally like the shade of computer paper that um, it's not really going to do. I mean, I does provide a little bit of brightness, but again, just because of how light my skin is it's hard to get something as so now i want to move on into the refi beauty cream blush now i had used a previous one of these this one the other one was in the shade rose with that okay first and foremost you only get 0.05 grams of product for 20 dollars. that's not a lot it's it's not a lot okay i also did state because i went in directly from here um onto the cheeks so that was maybe a little bit too much so this time I'm going to take, you know, tap some and I'm just going to take this on the back of my hand and then with the excess product, I will then completely like blend this in. Now this is starting to look a lot better. Again, these, this is a very, very pigmented blush formula. So it does kind of makes, you know, you don't need a ton of product because um, you don't need to use a lot of it, but it does provide a very good, nice, um, nice pigment. It creates a really nice glow on the cheeks. It really does sink into the cheeks. It plays well with like other cream products because I have a cream bronzer on from Nude Sticks, but I have tried other um, cream bronzers, cream contours, things like that with these, with the other shade. And again, it just like literally just like blends seamlessly right into the skin. All right, so I have now sat my face. I've added some bronzer, some blush. So we are ready to go into this chromosome highlighter. I'm going to be using a highlight brush from Clarity Cosmetics. I'm just going to pick up a little bit here. Let's see. Does anything happen? Okay, I can't tell if there's like literally any of the product is getting on the face or no oh wait yes it is yes it is okay okay i just couldn't really see it at first but let me check yep nope it's definitely there um but this is very a very glitter heavy um highlighter very texture emphasizing um this is definitely like a pink orange red type of highlighter um, I don't think it's bad. Like, I think it's cute. Like, it, it, it goes, you know? I do want to move on into the lower lash line. I do want to kind of try adding, like, some different colors maybe. See what we come up with. So, I want to start with this shade right here. It's kind of like a slight gray purple. This is in the shade Truth. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up. Has a little bit of kick up, fallout. Uh, not the end of the world. And then just kind of start smoking this. So this is definitely appearing a little bit more uh, pink than it definitely looks in the pan. Not the end of the world, you know? Just something to note. If you buy the shade, the shade Truth, in case you forgot, because I almost forgot. Then I want to go into that slate shade. So that's going to be more of like that, that gray Ooh, had a bit of kick up on that and kind of hug that a little bit closer to the lash line not turning out that bad and then i want to go into like this like a purpley type shade purpley gray um and this is in the shade pandora's box so let's just stipple a little bit off and just focus that right here We'll go in with this shade right here that kind of has like a little bit of like a green shift to it. And this is in the shade, do we have a problem? Um, well, I hope not. So let's see what happens. So this is definitely a very crumbly shade. It is picking up on the brush, but it's picking up uh, and being kind of crumbly. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 
And then I kind of want to connect it into that like liner that we had. And I want to go on into this Too Faced um, Makeup Insurance Setting Spray. Um, this is going to help defend your skin against that blue light damage. Um, and this is going to lock down your makeup and set it for 18 hours. Um, this keeps makeup transfer resistant while refreshing and hydrating. It says it's alcohol and silicone free. Um, sets makeup for marathon wear so you look vibrant and beautiful all day long. Um, one spray boosts your skin and your spirits with a blend of antioxidants, green tea extract, and algae extract and smells like vacation in a bottle. Kind of interested to see what, what a vacation in a bottle smells like to them, but we'll find out. Um, so it says shake well, six to eight inches, close eyes and mouth. Um, so you don't spray directly into your eyes or your mouth. Okay. So when you shake it up, you can hear there's like a ball or something inside to help shake this up. So let me see. Ooh. Okay. A little bit aggressive. It does kind of have like, it's like a beachy scent, but also like baby powder with a tad bit of, tad bit of sun, like sunscreen maybe, like sunscreen. Now let's go ahead, let's try out this brow pencil from Day Cat. So this is a very large pencil tip. Not something I'm usually a huge fan of because I'm just not. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start trying to outline my brows. Now I will say I did get this for like a dollar. It was on sale recently on Ulta's website for Black Friday maybe. Not Black Friday, a new year special. So it can get stiff and kind of drag, like as you can tell, um, it's kind of, it just kind of drags a little. And this is not jet, jet black. This is just another dark brown. I did, I will, okay, so I did Google, cause you know, Google comes in handy sometimes. Um, and I was like, best, best brow, products, pencils, whatever, pomades for jet black hair. And literally everything that I read was like, don't do, like even if your hair is jet black, like don't do like jet black um, brows, like stick with like a dark brown, soft black so it doesn't look harsh and your brows look real. I don't know. But like, okay, that might be a thing, but like, don't you want it to match your hair? I, I don't know, okay. Cause like, you wouldn't have somebody with like blonde hair using a dark brown shade if their hair is like, you know, no roots or anything showing. It's like blonde, blonde, right? Because then it just like doesn't match your hair, but like, this is so light, like it doesn't really match your hair. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad brow pencil. It was pretty quick, pretty easy, short, sweet, to the point, you know. Does drag a little bit. Um, as you can tell, like it just kind of drags, not the best. So moving on, we have these Juvia's Place lip liners. I don't know if they've come out with like, like more than just these three. But these were part of like adding to like their coffee shop collection. So we have this right here. This is in the shade Coffee Bean. The one thing about the Juvia's Place lip liners is just like sometimes just looking at them, they all look the same on the bottom. So you have to read what it is. Um, next up is going to be Espresso, which luckily these are like twist up. Okay. And then the last one is going to be Seriously, seriously, chocolate. Okay, chocolate. So this is chocolate right here. I feel like espresso and chocolate look really, really similar. Um, okay, so I'm not sure which lip liner because we have this liquid lipstick from Clarity that I want to 
kind of see this is in the shade i think it's called brownie brown nope it's just called brownie i thought it was going to be brownie brownie batter Ooh, okay i don't know i don't know how well either maybe let's try espresso with it uh espresso with it might be a good option but then i do have a lip gloss as well butterscotch and this also did come with the coffee shop collection because it literally says on the bottom mm. it has like a interesting scent but here's that color this could be this could be wild this could be a wild this could be a wild time trying out these lips <coughs> so we're gonna start off with espresso These lip liners from Juvia's Place, I'm just going to first and foremost just say, they are very, very pigmented. They are soft. They are creamy. Um, they don't have, like, the longest, like, staying power. Like, as you can tell, they're not going to be as long-lasting as, like, the Tarte Maracuja, um, Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath. Um, there's not a lot that really compares. then I'm going to go in with that butterscotch shade. I'm going to start, I'm just going to tap a little bit right here. Here is the completed and final look testing out some new makeup. Uh, what do you guys think of the final look? I think it looks pretty good. Even with the lip option being as dark as it is, I still think that it's still a really good lip option truthfully to go with this because we've got a lot of colors going on. I feel like this is like big bold like the eyes without being like too overly bold if that makes sense. So now it is time for the ranking. I am so excited to rank these. Yes, we've had some hits. We've had some misses. So coming in last place is going to be this J Cat brow pencil. I don't think it's a terrible brow pencil. I'm a little disappointed because on the website this looks like black black, like my hair black. It's not. It's just like another like soft black. I I think I'm just gonna have to use like eyeshadow or try something out like that because it's just not. Um, this is a very tough. It like skips. It drags. Uh, it's a really really large. I don't think it's a bad, like I got it for a dollar. Like you can't beat that for a dollar. Like you just can't. Next up is going to be the Chromosome Highlighter. I think this is a really pretty, pretty highlighter. You know, has like that duo chroma shift. Um, the reason for me it's the range a little bit lower. One, I'm not doing a ton of like duo multi-chrome type highlighters. I'm just not. There are times and places where yes, I will use those. And yes, I feel like those are very important times to use them. But I'm just not doing that a whole lot. This also is very, very, like, can you see on, like, glittery. Very heavily glitter, glittery and very texture emphasizing. So not one that I would reach for a lot. I really liked, like, the baked gelays a whole lot because those aren't as texture emphasizing and not as glittery. Next up is going to be this Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18-Hour Wear. I don't know how long this has, how long this will wear, right? This is my first time using it. Um, it's fine. You know, you get a pretty good amount. You get four fluid ounces, so you get a good amount of product. I feel like that's fair. I think that what throws me off is like the scent. It's just like, it's like, oh, a vacation in a bottle. And I'm just like, please no. Please, please no. Next up is going to be this from Clarity Cosmetics. Um, this is one of their liquid lipsticks. One thing about their liquid lipsticks is they do come in like these tiny components, which I can find to be very like appreciative of because I just am not, I don't think I've ever used up a lip product except for like, like, you know, like a balm or something that I'm applying every day. But if we're talking like a lipstick that I use every single day, I have not ever used up a lip. And even with this, I probably wouldn't. But if you're somebody where even like, using you know using this every day this would still take you a while so I feel like they're fairly priced you get a good amount of product without it being like overkill right so that way we're not trying to waste a ton of product I can be appreciative of that um, but it is very drying it takes a long time to dry down it's a very thin uh like wet formula when it finally does set down it's very like sticky it's a very very sticky and it's very very drying um, so next up is actually going to be the gloss. The gloss is 
also kind of sticky, not nearly as bad as the liquid lipstick. Um, it has like a nice scent to it. It's not an overpowering scent, um, but I will say I'm not, I'm just not like a huge gloss person. Most of the time I'm just using a liquid lipstick. I'm not trying to um, re have to like reapply if I'm wearing a mask somewhere, like the feeling of like a mask sticking to gloss grinds my gears in a way I can't even begin to describe to you. Next up is going to be this from Afi. I think this is a very, very beautiful blush. Uh, I think one of my qualms with this is like, this is like this amount of product is $20. $20. I feel like, like the, the makeup should be so luxurious for getting that amount of product for $20. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, maybe I'm just like expecting too much. I don't know. But I will say it's really pretty. This is going to be best if you are going to like, I don't know, I think, it, you know, it could be nice if you like, you know, stipple it in with like your fingers. Uh, I think that would be nice, you know, just take a little bit on your fingers. If you are somebody who is a like brush person to apply your creams or a, uh, a sponge person like I am, just take a little bit on to the back of your sponge, you know, tap it in two or three times and then tap it onto the back of your hand and then go in. I find it looks really, really pretty. It sinks into the skin really easily. Whereas if you just go straight and then straight in, I feel like it can look a little bit heavy. Next up is going to be these lip liners. Again, I really like the Juvia's Place lip liners. They are creamy. Um, I like that you roll them up. Um, and then unfortunately they don't have like a uh, like sharpener on the bottom. So you'd have to use one from like another one. So that's one of the qualms with it. Um, as well as the wear time isn't that great. And also if you like go to your makeup drawer and you're like, oh, I need to pick out the one that's espresso. Which one is espresso? Like just looking at this, I'm like, they all look like espresso. Like there's not really much of a difference. Next up is going to be this from Winky Lux. This is the white tea tinted moisturizer. Um, I do appreciate that it comes with SPF. I will say again, my skin looks really good with this on. This does not provide a glow. This is just kind of like your skin, but better. So if you have really, really dry skin and you're wanting to go in with this, hoping that's gonna provide a glow and some radiance and like it's got skincare loving ingredients, nope, nope. Um, if you are oily um, <clears throat> and you're like, oh, I'm probably gonna need to overly mattify for this, no. It's definitely just like a your skin, but better. So treat your skin underneath however you would like. Next up is going to be this from Rare Beauty. Um, I really like the applicator. It's a metal applicator. You don't get a ton of product on it. So if that's something that you're like, I don't wanna have to keep inserting my wand back and forth, you're not gonna like this. Um, this did provide some uh, like brightening but it didn't provide a whole lot of coverage. Um, whereas in comparison to like the Huda one where I get brightness and coverage, I wouldn't pick this over that. But there are ones like I have the Say Concealer, which <clears throat> is just a couple shades like too deep for me. Um, and that's the case with a few concealers where it's just like I buy it in the lightest shade and it's just not light enough. So I feel like adding this could be very, very helpful. I didn't feel like it, you know, didn't make my under eyes darker or anything. It didn't really provide any coverage. So I feel like that's going to be like great if I need like to mix a shade in or if I need to add some extra brightness. Next up in... Third place are going to be these lashes from House of Lashes. I have never used anything from Houses of Lashes, so I was like, I don't really know what to expect. Um, what I will say is the band is thin, but it does, you know, it provides movement. You can wrap it around, really get, you know, the flexibility of the band. No problems, no issues. Able to easily put the glue on and able to easily apply the lashes. Sometimes they can be so thin that the glue, like, I'm just like, oh, I'm putting out my outer corner. Well, now the the inner corner sticking out. Okay, I'm going back over here to put in the inner corner. Well, now the outer corner is like halfway off. Like the back and forth, I did not experience that with these lashes. They attached beautifully. In second place are going to be the Clarity Cosmetics Singles. I really personally enjoy Clarity Cosmetics formula. It is a really good formula. Um, I know that like I rave about Give Me Glow. I feel like Clarity Cosmetics has a lot of very similar formulas to give me glow and some aspects not always in others i think their eyeshadow formulas are very 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 close so it's really just going to be about preference in first place then is going to be this from kaleidos i was a little bit shocked by this if we're going to be honest <laughs> i was like way shocked 
Um, because I've tried some other like duochrome kind of like liners and I just did not like them. The staying power was terrible. You couldn't really see the color, the shifts, anything like that. This has incredible staying power. You will be scrubbing this off for a while. You can definitely like here, you know, like there it's like a little bit more blue. Here it's like a little bit more green. You know, you can kind of see those shifts a little bit more, um, but it has incredible staying power. This is super, super creamy. It glided over like the shimmer op the shimmer metallic shades from Clarity super, super well. I love the way that this turned out. Like this turned out so good. I am obsessed best to try the other that is it for today's video testing out some new makeup i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy content like this then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the little bell so that way you can be notified of more new makeup videos but i will see you all in my next one bye